What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your Thinkorswim platform a nearly fully automatic trading system. Now this works with futures, forex, stocks, options, anything you could trade on Thinkorswim, this will work on. So I use this, um, pretty much what this allows me to do is to live my life and not have to babysit or even worry about the markets. I think logically, place my orders and then let the system uh, take care of the rest. So I have not seen anyone else post videos like this on YouTube, so this is the first one. So to get started, you want to pick a security to trade. So this could be a stock, options, futures, forex, whatever it may be. In this video, we're gonna be looking at options. So we're gonna go over to Apple and we're going to pick the November 15th um, 250 strike call option. There's no specific reason for this. This is just for an example. So what you wanna do is you want to buy this. So I'm gonna right click on the chain and click buy, right? So I have 10 options coming up, looking to long 10 options for $179 each, which would be about $1,790. Now let's say that I want to put a stop loss in there too. So now what I have to do is pay attention. So make sure you click this advanced order. This whole thing's not gonna work. So click the advanced order, click single order, and then click OCO. Or we know actually click first triggers OCO. So once you do this, this will this is the foundation of the system. So click advanced order, then click first triggers OCO. So now what we have to do is we have to create two separate orders. So pretty much what you're telling the system when you're doing this is you're telling it that when the first order is filled, the other orders are going to go into action and once one is executed, the other one's gonna cancel. So OCO stands for one cancels other. So pretty much um, you're gonna buy the options and you're gonna have two orders going out. You're gonna have a sell order that's above the current option price and a sell order that's below the current option price. Once it hits either of those targets, the order is going to fill at whatever target it's at and it's gonna cancel the other one. So pretty simple. So now we're gonna create a sell order. So right click on the order, click create opposite order. And now let's say you want to put a stop loss at let's say a dollar and 50 cents. You're buying at a dollar 79 cents. And you know, if um, the option falls, you wanna sell at a dollar 50, that's fine. So then go back to the buy order, right click again, click create opposite order. And let's say you want to sell if it hits $250, right? Click 250 um, and, and you're good to go. It's that simple. Um, that That's really it. I like to, I like to change all these orders till good till canceled orders or else you'd have to do this every single day. But um, generally, you, you pick where you wanna sell it, pick where you wanna buy it, uh, make sure you have GTC in time and force right there, and then confirm and send, and you're good to go. Now let's say you want to, instead of, here, let's see, instead of having a set stop loss, like $1.50, let's say you wanna have a trailing stop loss. So if you're not familiar with that, pretty much um, you buy at $1.79, and let's say your trailing stop loss is 10%. If the option falls 10% below $1.79, then you're gonna automatically take that 10% loss. But let's say you buy the option for $1.79, it goes up to 200, and then your stop loss is gonna be 10% of 200 instead of 10% of 179. So the more this, the um, option goes up, um, your, your, your trailing stop losses also can go up with it. So let's say you wanna do that. Right click on the buy order, click create opposite order, and you wanna go to it, and you want to click where it says, right here, order, click limit, make that a trailing stop, and you wanna click, right now you have a plus or minus, so that would be like if you want it just 10 cents below um, you know, the current price or you can do percentage like I was saying. So you just gotta click right there. And now let's say you want it 10% below, click 10 and you are good to go. Input 10 on this box. Let's see, so we have to go negative 10, negative 10%. So if the option goes down negative 10% from the high after you buy it, it will sell and close you automatically. If 
Apple goes to 250 at any time you buy it. Uh, it's gonna close automatically and then just click confirm and send and you're gonna be good to go. It's really that easy. Um, you might be confused at first, but um, I'm gonna be answering every single question um, on the bottom of this video. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments down below. But um, this system will really work. It'll help you a lot. Uh, like I said, it's a nearly automatic trading system. Once you set up the orders, that's all you have to do. So the only manual part is creating the orders, which don't take that long. And you know, it, it's really, it's really not that hard. I use it, it allows me to live life and not have to worry about what my options are doing. So if you have any questions on this video or how to set up this nearly fully automatic trading system on Thinkorswim, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.